Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I'm really excited today, and I can't figure out which is making me more excited. Is it that I've got some new Chanel lip products to share, or is it because I'm doing this video in collaboration with Steffi Glam? That's right, my friend Steffi here on YouTube. Have you checked out Steffi Glam's channel? I will link it and her video below. Steffi is one of the hardest working folks here on YouTube. She does reviews back to back to back, and she is so honest, so talented, not to mention, of course, incredibly beautiful. And she lets you know, Steffi pulls no punches. If she likes it, she tells you. If she thinks it's garbage, she tells you hardworking and so intelligent, please check out Steffi's channel right after mine because what Steffi and I did today is we've kind of divided up the workload. So Chanel, let's get into the product and I'll tell you what she and I did here. Chanel released eight more colors of their Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Lip, Liquid Lipstick and Gloss. I'll explain how it works in a moment. This is a tried and true product from Chanel that is very, very popular. It's been one of my go-tos for a while. Haven't talked about it a lot here on YouTube because there haven't been that many new colors available. But surprise, surprise, Chanel just released eight new ones. So what Stephanie, Steffi and I have done is we have divided up the workload. So Steffi bought four and I went out and got the other four. I want you to come check out the four that I bought and then afterwards hop on over to Steffi Glam, tell her I said hello, and take a look at the shades that she bought. I gotta tell you, I told her this earlier today. I have a feeling that I'm gonna also be picking up her shades as well. But for now, we have four shades. So let's talk about what Chanel's Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue is. So as I told you, it is a liquid lipstick and a gloss. Now wait, 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 don't go anywhere. I don't love liquid lipsticks either. I never have. They stay on your lips forever, but I know they're drying, they're uncomfortable, not these. I'm holding up one of the new shades here, not these. So this is a double-ended lipstick. We have one side that goes on as a stain, then you let it dry and you apply the gloss. So then there's this kind of moisturizing, cool looking gloss on the other side. This baby lasts can last pretty much all day and even through a meal. Now remember, the gloss side, the hydrating glossy side, you do have to reapply. Don't want you to think that. But the actual stain, the liquid lipstick stain, stays forever, or the beauty equivalent of forever, which is really about eight hours or through a meal. You can't beat that. These have been my go-to for so long. So we're gonna try them on here on the lips. I'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it because they're not easy to get off your lips. As you can imagine, that's the whole idea, right? But we're gonna talk about the cost. We're even gonna do some arm swatches. And then I hope you're gonna check out Steffi's video right after mine to see the other four. So let's get started. Okay, I got two of the kind of beigey colors and then two of the reds, all right? The first one I got was Chic Beige, which is this color here. I'm gonna hold up the liquid. And the other beige I got was Timeless Beige. Take a look at that. Don't worry, we're gonna try them on the lips, we're gonna swatch them on the arms. So we're gonna start with these beiges on the lips, then I'll get them off my lips, no easy task, and we will try on and look at the two reds. So let's start first with Chic Beige, which is more of a bubblegum pink. I have not tried these at all, so let me show you how it works. So you start with this end right here, and this wand right here is just kind of a doe foot applicator just like a liquid lipstick. The hydrating gloss is a little different looking. We'll look at that in a minute. I am just gonna apply this to the bottom lip so that we can compare. So here's how it goes on. 
like a wet liquid lipstick. That's it. Okay, now I'm gonna let that dry. And while I let it dry, because you do have to let it kind of sink in, that is the point, right? I'm gonna show you the other side. So the other side is a hydrating gloss that has more of a brush applicator. Okay, so that is gonna go over it after this dries, which it just has, it doesn't take long. And look at how it transforms the look. Look at that. Look how that look is instantly transformed. Let's lip swatch the other beige shade that I picked up, which is Timeless Beige, okay? So this is Timeless Beige. There it is on the doe foot right there. Once again, I'm going to apply this to the upper lip so we can compare the two and let it dry. If you don't let it dry, it's not gonna last as long. These are really lovely, lovely neutral colors for really any skin tone. There it is. I only have the hydrating moisturizer on the bottom lip so far. Here's the top lip, just letting it dry. Then we are going to apply the gloss over the top using the brush and take a look. Then we'll come back and do the reds. And again, when we apply the gloss, we have a very different look. So check it out. We have Chic Beige and Timeless Beige. And both have the gloss over the top. And these now that I've let them dry and applied the gloss, remember you do have to reapply the gloss, that's no big deal, but the lip color will last even through a meal and will not get on a mask. I brought out a white mask. We should really do this with the red, but I got nervous. Mm -hmm. Check it out. I'm not even looking. Totally white. Yeah, totally white. I mean, these are neutral shades, but you would have seen it on the white. We could try it with the red if you want to. I suppose that would be the real test. I am going to go take these off, wish me luck. You can use um, eye makeup remover and it does come off. It's not something I would do a lot per day because these are pretty sturdy things, but I'm gonna take them off for you guys and we're gonna try these two reds that I got too. Stay right there, I'll be right back. Okay, princesses, I'm back because we have some reds to try. It wasn't too bad to get those off. They definitely will not come off with a tissue or anything like that or a cloth. I used some eye makeup remover and a little bit of brute strength and they did come off. Okay, so we have two reds. We have Passionate Red. Remember, we've got some swatches coming up, so fear not. We have Passionate Red and Burning Red. So let's start with Passionate Red, and we will put Passionate Red on one lip and Burning Red on the other. We're so lucky, Stephanie and I, that they released eight, an even amount for our lips. Okay, here's the doe foot for Passionate Red. Burning Red is a little bit kind of an oranger. You'll see, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here's Passionate Red on the bottom lip. You'll be able to tell, don't worry. Oh, it's so pretty, it's like a cherry. Now, oh, I wanted to rub my lips together. I do advise being a bit precise because this is not going anywhere and it's red. So, you know, precision is kind of a, a good requirement for this. Not something super quickly thrown on on YouTube, but I want you to kind of get the idea. We're gonna let it dry a second, and then we're gonna add on the gloss. And in fact, while we let it dry, because this is the red, I wanna really let this dry. Let's take a look at the burning red color. Again, swatches coming up in a moment. I won't forget that, I promise. Here's burning red on the top. We're just letting it really dry. And this is definitely a burnt orange red. Huh. Sorry, I know this is terribly boring. Talk amongst yourselves. I can't rub my lips together. It's like I don't know what to do. 
Okay, so not at all expertly applied princesses because I'm not rubbing my lips together. There's no liner, so please forgive me. I, I, I do know that. I just want these to really dry. So we have burning red here on the top lip, and then we have passionate red on the bottom. And as you can see, passionate red is much more of a blue red, much cooler, and burning red is a warmer kind of a burnt orange red. That is just the color alone that I was letting dry. Now, over both, let's put the gloss, and then we'll see how that looks. Gosh, these are so pretty. I really hope you guys try these. Again, um, I would, if you weren't here with me, take a little bit more care in applying red that stays on. This is gonna be fun for the rest of the day, huh? I just wanna quickly give you an idea of the look, but please do apply precisely, it's red. Okay, now, look, I wanna show you something. This is really interesting. This is the wand from the Passionate Red, which we did first. So I put the gloss over, look at the wand. Do you see any red on the wand? And I really put it on there. Do you see any red on the wand? No transfer. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's take a look. We have now Passionate Red on the bottom, Burning Red on the top, sloppily applied, I know. And we have the Hydrating Gloss over the top. What do you think? Those are some pretty reds and they're really wearable. Oh, for fall and winter? Could you just? Oh my goodness, they're lovely. Aren't they absolutely lovely? So I want to give you some swatches here. Let's do some swatches, some pricing. Let's talk about some information here. These little fellas are $38 each and worth every penny. I shouldn't say that because they're not cheap, but they're just, they're such a lovely, lovely kind of ride or die product. I know a lot about these and can speak to them because I have so many colors from the, all the original releases and the different colors that are released down the line. As I said, I'll probably go up, end up buying the ones that Steffi bought. There's just something so freeing about not having to worry if your lipstick is still on. Maybe that's just me, but I bet a lot of you can relate, right? I'm so silly talking with two different red lipsticks on, but I just wanted you to see. We're gonna put some swatches in right here and then we'll go ahead and do the mask test with this red on. Why not, right? Okay, so here are some arm swatches so that you can see. I'm going to start by showing you Timeless Beige and then Chic Beige right next to it. There's Timeless Beige and then Chic Beige right next to it. So Timeless Beige is more up toward my elbow. Chic Beige underneath. These do not have the glasses over them. This is just the color princesses. And then we're going to look at the reds. We're gonna start with Passionate Red, and then next to it, all the way towards the wrist, is Burning Red, Passionate Red, and Burning Red. Okay. Let's do it. So we have this clean mask that we used for the beige colors. Let's do this now because we're all wearing masks. Now, most of my masks, I have to admit, are black. I really just thought this kind of papery uh, toss away one was great to test this with because there is no hiding it. And notice that I am also slightly concerned that this test won't work because I'm stalling. Okay, let's do it. It is firmly on. My lips are firmly touching it, I promise you. I'm not gonna smash my face into it. I'm wearing it exactly as you would. This mask is a little big for me, isn't it? Okay, I feel like Batman. All right, check it out. That is the honest truth. The stuff doesn't budge. As I said, you will have to reapply the gloss, but the rest of it, you do not have to reapply. This is, I love this product. I cannot wait to see what Steffi thinks when she tries on her four. Please hop on over to your channel, to her channel, to Steffi's channel. Tell Steffi that Rebecca says hello and check out what she does with the other four colors that you know I'll end up buying soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below and tell me what you thought. And if you haven't yet, my goodness, please subscribe. I really, really love when you add to my community and help support me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.